Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. Once again being here is a source of great joy and I will always repeat that, even if it bothers some. Lots of energy coming, in this month of your time, transformative energies, energies of light, energies of consciousness. It has already been said here that the light is cleaning the minds of many on the planet, causing many to broaden their horizons and their ways of thinking. It is clear that many are getting out of the complacency of always leaving behind the decisions they need to make. Today, these points are being quite uncomfortable for each of you. The problem can no longer be left under the rug, in a drawer, stored in a safe. All these compartments have opened up and exposed the problem, and it is now materialized in front of you. No matter how much you try to go right, left, up, down, wherever you are heading, the problem is there, demanding an attitude, demanding an action. Complaining about the problem, cursing the problem, hating the problem is like food for it, it only increases, it only becomes stronger. Now if you look at it with love, with the certainty that there is a lesson to be learned there, the problem will diminish, disappear. And when you fully learn what he came to teach you, he simply disappears. This is the moment you are living in right now. The light is bringing awareness, the light is bringing the truth. Ah, but what's the truth? Yours, everyone's truth. What's the point of showing the truths of the world, if you can't even see yours? Your truth has to be seen, understood and internalized. After this time, humanity will be ready to absorb greater truths. And I can assure you that the process is very accelerated, there is not much time for all this. It's not taking the problem, trying to put it aside and thinking, it'll solve it tomorrow, because it comes back in front of you, it won't get out of your way until you resolve it. Then many may say to me, but the problems imply many changes, in life changes, work changes, changes in posture. Yes, but certainly each of these changes will be for your learning and evolution. You just need to trust that and have the courage to make the right decisions, get out of your comfort zone, get out of your comfort zone. Because many of you, despite suffering horrors, don't want to give up anything, don't want to choose something else, because you are comfortable where you are, you don't want to get up and look for another path, you don't want to get up and make new choices, you want to stay in the suffering. But it's a stage you already know every inch of, so why change? So I answer you why change, because this suffering that you enjoy living so much today, will gradually increase over time. Until you can't stand it anymore. And often this suffering is in the flesh, in the body, because the suffering of the mind is reflected in the body. So what stance will you take? Will you continue to suffer, understanding that all the pain you feel is due to something wrong that you did? It's your choice to continue thinking this way or simply get up and make the decision to follow a new path. And rest assured that whatever path you choose, we will be there waiting for you at the door, to give you a hand and help you along the way. You will not be alone, in fact, you are never alone, you just forget that we are there, with our hands extended to each of you. And you always insist on making decisions alone and most of the time, they are wrong decisions, because you maintain the same process. It's as if you took off a blue shirt and put on a white shirt, you're still dressed, you just changed the color of your shirt. That's what you do all the time. You change the face of the problem, you put a new outfit on it, but the problem is still there, it hasn't been undone, it hasn't been resolved. Solving problems is not an easy or simple thing, it takes courage, it takes wisdom, and it takes boldness, to take a step where you know nothing. And then the ego starts screaming, no, why would you choose something you don't know? Stay here in what you already know how it is. Even if you are suffering, stay here. And you're afraid of taking a step into something you don't know. So once again I say, 
it's a choice. Each problem comes for you to make a choice, continue living with the problem that will increase more and more or make a decision and change, evolve, get out of it. This is the step that has to be taken now, because more and more, consciousness will be expanding, more and more light will be in your minds and in your thoughts, and you will start to see many things differently. And it won't be because they heard it said or because we said it, it will be a work of each one's own higher self, showing the truth to each human being. This is the role of evolution, you need to evolve yourself at this moment, so that you learn to make the right decisions, so that you learn to see things correctly. Make no mistake, the world out there is full of traps to keep you in suffering, to keep you in limiting beliefs to keep you in attitudes that are contrary to the light. It is up to each one of you to make the decision to look to the light, even if what you see is ugly, painful, difficult. But everything where there is the light, the solution always comes, because the light shows the paths, the light shows the correct decisions and above all, the light shows the path that will lead you to evolution, growth, wisdom. So it is up to each one to let themselves expand let themselves be enlightened, being sure that this is the path for those who want to reach the fifth dimension. It doesn't matter how long, what matters is whether you are taking the first step or you are continuing to take these steps, because many are already on this journey. So do not be discouraged, because now, the big obstacles will come, the big changes, the big changes, in the ways of being of each one of you. These ways will lead you to harmony, balance and light, in different aspects of your lives, personal, professional and mental. Now it doesn't hurt to remember, it's each person's choice, what they want to live. Do you want to have courage and challenge each problem and win? Or choosing to stay in the comfort zone, even when suffering, even with hassles? But that's okay with you, you already know what to expect. So be sure that this path will hardly lead you to evolution, it will take you closer and closer to non-evolution, I can guarantee that.